Now, CapKview First Alert Weather with Chief Meteorologist Kristen Walls. And as you wake up early this morning, quite the active scene that we have right now on Skywatch Radar. A lot of colors showing up. Some of the light pinks indicating some freezing rain. Rain is coming down and, of course, mixing at times with snow all dependent on our temperatures, which at times either at or just below that freezing mark. So closer look here in the Tri-Cities, a little bit of some light pink mixing in with some rain at times from Richland into Kennewick. We even had a little bit of some snow overnight last night. So the snow on the ground on top of some of that rain and freezing rain, certainly making for some icy spots for you as you head out the door for work. A little bit of some rain from Granger into Toppenish light freezing rain uh, coming down at times from Yakima and Desila and also wintry mix here further to our south. Mainly just some rainfall currently around the Pendleton area extending up into Milton Free Water and Walla Walla but higher elevations of course as you get into the mountains we have uh, snow that's expected. So winter storm warning for the northern blues uh, 8 to 14 inches of additional snowfall expected for you. That goes actually until Thursday afternoon but as you head up north uh, towards Spokane Cascades and eastern slopes this winter weather advisory is until 4 a.m. Thursday morning. So uh, very early on for this last day of 2020, more snowfall. So above 2,500 feet, expecting that additional 12 or 6 to 12 inches of snowfall. A lot of snow through those mountain passes and even just checking some thunderstorms are actually expected along uh, the Oregon coast today. So quite the active weather pattern as we head throughout these last couple of days of 2020. So mountain pass conditions right now, if you plan on traveling, chains are required both eastbound and westbound lanes for Snoqualmie Pass. Require Required here. Traction tire, tire, tires required for both White and Stevens Pass. And then a little bit of some light snow from Manastash, but no travel restrictions there. So that wintry mix will continue throughout your morning. Temperatures will start to climb above freezing. Chilly rain showers for the second half of the day today. We'll keep just a few showers overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. So as we head into New Year's Eve, we'll have the best chance for some rain. Tri-Cities East early in the morning, but for the most part, it's going to turn much drier for the second half of the day with some sunshine. But looking ahead, Head to the first couple of days of 2021. Rain chances, warming temperatures as well as we'll see these numbers above average. There's future cast. The majority, at least of New Year's Day, will be dry, just mostly cloudy. Late in the day, we'll see those rain showers moving in. First half of the day Saturday will be dry. More rain chances moving in by Saturday afternoon. And our temperatures are going to be warming up as well with these uh, rain showers. We're looking at 50 degrees Saturday, 51 on Sunday. So well above average, at least 10 degrees above average for this time of the year and we'll continue that trend by early next week. So temperatures out there for this morning, 32 in the Tri-Cities with 31 in Yakima, a little bit warmer for Walla Walla at 41. You'll see those numbers for this afternoon. 36 for Toppenish in Yakima, jumping up to 40 Tri-Cities with 37 degrees in Prosser, and then over into Walla Walla, 41, 42 in Pendleton. So we're expecting just a few showers overnight tonight, mostly cloudy as numbers fall through the 30s. So there's a look ahead to your seven day forecast for the Tri-Cities. Again, New Year's Day, late day rain shower, and then a soggy start to your weekend on Saturday with those rain showers by afternoon. Partly sunny on Sunday, breezy at 51, and then more rain showers by next week. And then your seven day forecast for Yakima it should be pretty dry for New Year's Eve, partly sunny at 41. Late day rain shower by New Year's Day and keeping things still a bit active. We'll be at least be partly, partly sunny on Sunday, breezy there at 47 and then more on and off rain showers by early next week.